Welcome to Kickstarter Radio, and this is coming real late. I'm really sorry about this. I'm Lucy Paddy, your host, and this is a real ooh, gem, I think. Oh my goodness me. I'm going to try and get this out on my channel before the uh, 24 hour is on this, but a lot has happened. And uh, th I think this is a really interesting game if uh, you have a son daughter or a nephew niece that um, is between the ages of maybe 6 and 12 that wants to sit next to you and we play a game together. This looks phenomenal actually. So what is it? Well, you are a witch. The first witch that comes to this island in like a, I think it's like a hundred years or something like this. Anyway, you're a good witch. You're a fun witch. You're trying to help people. You're an adventurer, a hero. And um, as you travel around this island, you'll be traveling through this book, and it's like a RPG style game from the uh, 1990s, if you will, JRPG style. The book itself will have numbers, so you, you basically yeah, can ask your child, um, what can you see, where do you want to go, and you can then read out the uh, vignette pages from the storybook. And certain story sections will have comic book also, so that's kind of fun. There is um, lots been unlocked as well through this whole campaign, and it is fairly interesting. There is also a big print and play aspect to this game found project, and um, so you need to know about that coming in. Anyway, you've got all these sheets. You, it's you basically got an RPG sheet where you're going to be writing down all the stuff that you've got. You're going to be learning how to do potions and. Uh, and all this good stuff. It does look fun as you're going around the island and uh, you'll be going inside interiors and it, when you're inside places you'll be investigating things as well and there's going to be puzzles to do and all that good stuff and there's going to be combat also which is you've got dice to roll. Alright so it is a solo driven solo game but you are going to be probably wanting to play this with a little person next to you absolutely. Now it says diverse. Diversity, you mean? <laughs> no, diverse in that you've got exterior and interior scenes. You can go inside shops and villages, caves, dungeons, underwater even it says. Wow, so that's real diversity. <laughs> yeah, each scene will be full of interest points and um, some are going to be hidden within the artwork. So yeah, it's going to be like you're going to be looking at the art. So challenges await, um, you're going to get spells, items, ingredients, ammo, yeah you've got a catapult. Get creating, there's going to be, uh, every item has many uses, choose what you want and combine its action number with a number in the scene. So it's almost like a um, old school 2D point and click adventure where you're kind of using your card to that thing and seeing if it does anything. So it has that really nice feel to it. Um, yeah, so the interaction is going to lead to new entries into your storybook. So you are going to be writing things down through the campaign. You're going to need to have like a, a piece of paper to write stuff down. And um, some interactions can spawn new encounters. It's best to keep track of your resources, so you're going to be doing this yourself. It's a bit like a role-playing game, a light one. And uh, yeah, you're going to be resting, and uh, it's, it's a, really it has this kind of an RPG feel. Now, 38, 30 hours of content, that is potentially 30 gameplay um, t time, isn't it? So th imagine sitting down with your your uh, little one 30 times there's a lot here there's really a lot here and if they really get into it it should be really really great really nice art you can see certain numbers are like in water some numbers are potentially leading off to the next part of the map so you're yeah, really cool um, again shops to go in and uh, all that stuff it looks very very cool in fact and uh, yeah, there's good, like I said, dungeons and stuff like that. Now then, now you can get everything really for forty dollars. The devout witch is giving you. Um, let's just look at this. 
The journal is just for you to write stuff down. It comes with three postcards, non lower, but a bit lower base, but non, not really adding to the story in the witch bound. Side story season one. This is really interesting because this is going to be like a print and play for side stories, adding 14 hours of gameplay. This is going to be side content, which is going to be delicious. So essentially, you're going to get, it says, um, at least six, three to five pages. So it's like an 18 to 30 page book of side stories. And um, the, the fact that it calls season one, they might do a season two of this. So you might get further content down the pipe for more stories in the world. So it potentially has a little bit of a living component, especially when you get it, they will be writing content for it. So that's delicious. All these items, by the way, can be found in the add-ons. Um, the Coven Co Companion, that is just an art book, not essential, and a collection of cards that are digital. That's really cool. We'll go down and have a look at that, actually. Um, the tokens are not. If, if I was if I was to get this, I'd go. Okay, I want Witchbone forty. I want side stories. Yeah, I want to get that. That's twenty. I want to get the Witchbone tokens. That is sixty five. Coloring books kind of fun. Sixty five. Do I really want any of this? I guess the jotting set would be nice. Then you're already at eighty, and you get the art book and the coloring book. So you know it's potentially all in, and the digital cards. Yeah, so. So this is good, it's going to be print and play, it's going to have 50 new cards. 50! That's like really a massive amount of content to the game. Um, and it also has some blank templates so you can create your own stuff, so that's really nice as well. So you're going to have to print and play that, but the stuff that you're getting in the game, it's going to like double the content if you if you do this. They're basically doing this to keep the price down of the game, which again, you can just come in and get the $40. But I think if you get the game, you are going to be wanting to get the Season 1 Pass for the side story content, and you're going to want the digital card, so that is already pushing it to 65 You put the tokens on, you get to 70 and, uh, you know, it's getting up there. Now, the unlocks have been cool, so um, the epilogue story has been unlocked. Fantastic. More potion cards have come in. More followers for you to get. Lovely. More scenes added to the book. Um, these fantastic familiars and the colourful characters is basically a print. You print that out as well and you print it as stickers and you can then stick the witch or familiar on your character's sheet. That's how that's working. Dice have got bigger though. More scenes. Extended scenes, a new story's been added, which is nice. New encounters, new dungeon, new interior, new exterior. So it's been pushing content out really well. It's been uh, doing some social stuff on this page, and it really went under the radar for me, which is why I'm trying to get this out as fast as possible as an express video to tell you that it is really cool. But again, if you do miss it, it will be on late pledge, won't it? And uh, yeah, there's some colouring pages here that you can press and um, print out, if you wish. Uh, so this is basically going to show you the whole island. You've got 58 detailed locations to explore, so it is going to be like a really good adventure that you're doing. And it certainly could be a nice thing to do over, a, I don't know, summer summer break when it's not at school or something like this. It's like a little campaign game that you can play for each day or something. Um, right, there is some videos here that are talking about it, which has um, got me kind of enthused about it. And um, yeah, Meeple Grande here. One of the best experiences we've had gaming on a table while getting the vibes of playing a classic point and click. Yes. Again, it's going to be solo though but you know you're going to be playing it with a little one is what's happening so 30 hours of content plus 15 with the season one 45 hours that is massive isn't it and um and there you go and it is an interesting how you interact with the world so um you know you're just adding the number to the number that you see on the book that gets you the entry from the page 
and it's nice and simple. Um, interesting note that it has this idea of persistence in it, which is cool, as it gets as you sleep through the world and dynamic NPCs. Many characters have personalities that are revealed through different dialogue for every interaction, so um, that's kind of nice, isn't it? And there's your season one um, writers and stuff like that that are keeping keeping this going. So it almost feels like it is bait. You are the base. Shipping's fairly high for the rest of the world. It's true. It really is. And uh, only four dollars for the uh, devout witch. It seems criminal that you can get all the extra content for an extra four dollars with the rest of the world. It's fairly odd, isn't it? All this, though, of course, is um, subject to change. Um, the game's not due out until 2024, though, and um, I think that's true. Did I see that somewhere? I do find it hard to find when it's going to be here. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, it has blew up on GameFound, and I'm amazed that I didn't see it before. So yeah, get to following it, and absolutely, I think it's definitely worth um, considering if you've got a little one in um, that visits your house that would love to play a little game with you together. A nice little adventure game that you can spend an hour with a little one with. I think it's really, really fantastic. Again, you can come in at a low point of 40, but know there'll be content out there for you to uh, potentially print and play and uh, print some stickers to really kind of enhance that stuff and, um, you know, make the experience pretty cool. Um, so yeah, as a, as a dad, I think my son would love this. And I think this is going to be one of the, one of the best kids games of the year. Um, it's going to be in that running, but which button? Yeah, absolutely. Looking absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend it, especially if you, you know, you've got that, you've got potential to play it with a little one. So yeah, uh, hidden gem in, in the weeds. Um, Witchbone, highly recommend it. There you go. Express, editor, get this out as soon as possible. All that good stuff. Highly, highly recommend it. Well, I've been Kickstarter Radio. This is Kickstarter Radio. I've been your host, Lipsy Paddy. You take care, stay safe, and bye-bye uh, for now. Like back it if you missed it. <laughs>